Hey, what's up, YouTube? Digital Soul here. Psh, psh, psh. Um, I'd like to start something new, okay? I'd like to start, I'm going to do like a little weekly series where I'm going to entitle it called Addressing the Issue, okay? And this week's issue is called A Sickness that is known as bulimia or being bulimic. Let's get to it. One more time, 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 go! Now, being that I am not a true expert on the subject, I got an email from somebody, a PM from on uh, YouTube, asking me if I could speak on this certain subject because a few of their friends were having some troubles. And I'm not an expert, but I know something about it. But I also have some little notes over here to the side, so if you ever see me looking off to the side, it's because I'm checking up on things. And what I want to talk about tonight is bulimia. Alright, it's a serious, serious subject, mainly in young teens, girls, come on, you know, you know I'm talking to you, you know, it's not everybody, but you know, it's a serious thing, um, you know, where people gorge themselves with food, and then regurgitate it back up, it's not pretty, it doesn't make you pretty, you're not going to be pretty because of it, you're not doing anything but destroying your body, your teeth, your throat, your esophagus, all that damage you know what I'm saying you think you're helping yourself but you're actually not <coughs> and they say that most people that have bulimia you can't even tell because they're normally ideal citizens ideal children in the family they're always pleasers they're looking to please people that's why they want to try to make themselves better and it's usually the girls that are so thin that say that I'm fat because they got that little pudge most girls have that man it's natural but they just feel that, you know, if they get on a scale and they gained a pond, oh my God, you know, they're going to freaking go and either not eat, starve themselves. And here's what happens when you starve yourself, okay? The body will store fat because it's not sure when it's going to get its next meal. So in turn, it burns muscle. Eventually, it's going to get to that fat. That's why you see these people that look like they're skin and bones because their muscle is degenerating because the body is using it as a source of fuel and once it burns that away it's gonna start attacking the fat but you need to eat you need to feed your body if you eat five square meals a day you're gonna trick your body even if we're small into okay why well, eat this breakfast and if that's the only thing you're gonna eat then your body's gonna store that fat but if you're gonna eat that breakfast then you're gonna eat a in between meal before lunch it's gonna say well I could burn that breakfast off because I know I got something else coming before lunch you know what I'm saying? So please, don't starve yourself. Okay? Now let's move on. Now a lot of people think bulimia isn't an addiction. Sometimes it can be worse than drugs or alcohol. Because people use it as a sense of dependency. Um, it makes them feel better. You know, they go and they engorge themselves. And it's just like when someone feels that they need drugs or alcohol to make themselves feel better just to forget something. A lot of times someone will have something traumatic happen in their lives, be it moving away from home, a death in the family, a graduation, something. They turn to this and they use it. They gorge the food and then they regurgitate it. And it, it's terrible. It's the same thing with drugs. You know, people, when there's a tough spot in their life, they turn to this to try to get away from it. Um, there's been surveys done, and I'm going to show some numbers at the end, because a lot of times when you say, no, 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 bad, 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 a lot of people say, okay, 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 and then they go and they do it anyway. So at the end of this video, I'm going to post some numbers, you know, showing how bad it is for you. Also, I might even show some pictures, and I hope it doesn't offend too many people, of some people that are seriously dying from this disease because you can't kill yourself. I read where there was this 39 year old woman. She was five foot one and she weighed 60 pounds. 60 pounds and you know what? She thought she was still fat. And you know why? Because there's skin. There's always skin. Skin is the biggest organ in our body, okay? You're not gonna get rid of it. 
So quit fighting it, man. Just be who you are. Look in the mirror be happy. You're probably a beautiful person inside. And that will turn out to make you beautiful on the outside. A lot of people don't realize this, man. Don't do this to yourself. It's very, very, very serious. I can't stress it enough. I wish I knew more about this subject so I can help people more. But I promised that I would talk about it. And I will talk about it. And hopefully you're going to continue to listen. Because the, there's more that I want to say about this. Now, please bear with me because I would like to read this next part. Bulimics tend to be overly judgmental of themselves and others. They have difficulty expressing emotions through language, fear criticism, avoid disagreements, and have low self-esteem. All traits which make having relationships with others difficult. In fact, many people in our survey of 392 recovered and are recovering bulimics indicate that they were uncomfortable with intimate relationships. You need to be with somebody. That's what life is all about. You can't be alone. It's hard. Trust me. All right, where are we? And bulimia was their predictable, reliable, unquestionable ally. That's terrible. Many have been sexually or emotionally abused as children and had difficulty trusting others. The bulimic rituals and thoughts protected them from what might be rejections, abandonment, or other potential pain. The bulimia had become their only relationship, and it's an empty one, which also prevented them from experiencing deep love subscribed and one woman survey, the great filler. Isn't that terrible? So these people are so hard on themselves through lives or live such a hard life that they've turned to this because they don't think that they're good enough. Don't let anyone in life ever tell you that you are not good enough. We're all here for a reason. Whether you were given up for adoption, whether you're living hard times, you're here for a reason. Never question why you're here. Never question the beginning. You're here. It's what you make of yourself is which counts. Life can be hard. There's lots of life lessons that we can learn from. And it's how you apply this to your life that makes you the person that you are. So please, if you need help, go out and contact a doctor. If that person doesn't help you, shut the door and seek help elsewhere. A lot of people have that problem. They seek help and they find no answers and they stop and they give up. Never give up because if you keep pushing, you will find somebody who can help you in life with all your problems, okay? Bulimia is a painful and exhausting illness. If you know anybody that is bulimic, please be compassionate towards them. Don't scold them. Don't try to yell at them into changing their ways. Approach them with an open heart, an open mind, and compassion, and try to help them. If you have friends that you noticed that their bones are showing in their face, that they have a lot of loose skin around their arms, not from fat, but because they're skinny, or if they just don't look right, ask them, are you doing something? And chances are they'll be embarrassed about it. And you can, first signs are the teeth. Teeth will turn yellow or they'll start to rot because stomach acid is not good for the teeth. Okay, so don't be afraid. If you have a friend and they are bulimic, please approach them and help them before it's too late, man. Because chances are if they're a good friend, they're not going to be around. They're not going to make it. They need help. They just don't understand what they're doing is wrong. Please help them. This is Digital Soul. Sorry to end this one on this note, but I'm just trying to get a message across, man. Hopefully my next vlog I'll have my new camera and we can go out and do something happy. But this is an issue that needed addressed. If I haven't helped somebody, maybe I'll touch on it again once I learn more about it. But for now, I'll see you guys when I see you. Peace.
One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time.